perform, how do we save uh, money, uh, and still provide the services. So it's, it's really, it's really a, a, um, an honor for me to, to have a, a, a part in this. Uh, <clears throat> try to do this without my glasses. Uh, as I always say, my, uh, my favorite number is 22. When I was in high school, my basketball number was 22. Both my boys, when they played sports, their numbers were 22. And that's the font I now use it. <laughs> 22 has stayed with me throughout. If it isn't 22, I gotta put these guys on. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, try it without. <clears throat> you know, the, the reform that this, this creates, it touches many things. And a lot of times people look at just the, the fraud portion. It's not, it's not that at all. I mean, that certainly is, is a piece of it. There's many other pieces of the telemedicine, this, this part of it. It was a, it was a global reform that uh, only could happen uh, with the bipartisan uh, effort of, of, of administration, uh, of the Senate finance, of what uh, Senator Kelly uh, has gone on for, I can't remember when you have not been on the finance bill. That's all <laughs> there <part>. is no <laughs> time. <laughs> so, uh, it, and, and you know that the mental health uh, trust, uh, I don't know if Jeff, Jesse is here, uh, but uh, the $10 million that, uh, the, that the mental health trust uh, put in was absolutely phenomenal. We wouldn't, I mean, <clears throat> they come through many, many times, and, and we, we appreciate what they do very much. Another, another piece of the, uh, uh, of, of the critical piece of the team. Um, you know, the expected savings is uh, $365 million over the first six years. That's huge. That's really, really huge. You should have heard our meeting this morning of, of, of the numbers that we're, we're looking at as far as the, uh, nothing of, of that size and magnitude. We're looking at some make some changes, painful changes, it's, it's pretty small numbers, but we, we are doing that because, because we have to. So, boy, anything that shows, that talks about savings, um, and this is probably the, the biggest uh, savings, I think, of legislation that was passed this year, uh, without, without question. So, we thank the, uh, the legislature very much for that, and, and particularly Senator Kelly. Um, you know, the, 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 the list is long as far as what, it, what it's going to do, the refinancing opportunity to save uh, state general funds. Um, public-private partnership to uh, reduce non-urgent uh, use of the emergency room services. Uh, we had a long discussion about that today, that if, if we make some adjustments over here financially, we're, we drive people to the emergency room, and, and rather than preventative issues, whatnot. And so that's not, the, that's not the direction to go. It's to keep the folks from having to go to the emergency room. We've always said, uh, you know, access to the emergency room is not a, it's not a, med it's not a plan. Uh, so so this, this addresses that. Uh, reforming the behavioral health system in conjunction with the Alaska Mental Health Trust Authority. Again, another collaborative effort uh, working, working closely with them. Um, expanding uh, the use of primary care, uh, case management, and health home for people who have chronic health conditions and behavioral health uh, needs. You know, um, the longer someone can stay in a home environment, um, uh, the better. Uh, I, you know, we've all have personal uh, histories in our, in our uh, our families a situation where people were uprooted and had to, had to move and make a transition, and it's uh, uh, very, very difficult. Um, I remember the day after the, uh, two days after the earthquake in, in 64, uh, someone from Valdez had to transfer to an um, uh, elderly lady, uh, Frances Harris. Um, Harris uh, had to move to uh, Glen Allen, and she died the next day. And someone said she wasn't, she wasn't even, she, was, had, she had no, and it was that uprooting or moving out of her home, she, she was uh, uh, about 98, uh, and just being uprooted and leaving her home was such a traumatic experience for her. So the longer folks, people can stay in, in a home environment, um, that's, that's really something that, um, uh, that we certainly have encouraged. And this bill uh, helps provide for that. Uh, setting up better protection for to grant opioid dependence. I mean, that is just unbelievable what that has happened across our state in that regard. Uh, that's something that is, is um, um, every, there's no, there's no strata, there's no region that's protected from that. It is, it is, it is across the state, and it's a big, it's one of the biggest issues. Every uh, national governor's conference I've gone to, the lead issue, number one issue at that conference, isn't economic development. It isn't about uh, energy issues or jobs. It's about opioid uh, excessive use of what is happening around our country on that issue. So. Alaska is not immune from that, and so this, this addresses that. Uh, we're looking at some budgetary issues now that address that. It's really hard to look at bringing in new programs when you have a $4 billion deficit. 
But boy, it's really hard to not bring in those programs because those those uh, those folks that are affected are all across the all across the state. So it's it's a it's a critical critical issue. <clears throat> and you know those that uh, those of you that work in this area of work, I just can't thank you enough. I'm I'm so proud for the. Uh, uh, Department of Health and Social Services. I'm so proud of each one of them, of what they do. What they they do it so well. They do it with a with a you know a compassionate heart. And and right here in this facility is a, is an example of that of what you provide here. So I'm I'm really I mean it's such an honor to be uh, to have a part in this uh, in this process. And I think it's a again I, I look at it as an example of what happens when uh, when people pull together. And I know mo most of you have heard what Byron Malott. Uh, when he brought me a gift some months ago from Beth Macatla, it was a picture. And I looked at this picture, some folks standing together in a river and with boots and rain and whatnot, and I said, I don't quite understand. I looked closer, and uh, Byron said, that's what we're doing. It was, it was in Beth Macatla in the early 1900s. If you want to pull stumps out, the whole town got together on a rope, on a single rope, and pulled the stumps out. And this picture is titled Pulling Together. It's a, it's a photo. and. Um, uh, he said, uh, Lieutenant Governor Malat said, Governor, that's what we're doing. That's what we need to do. We need to pull together. And, and that's what this is, uh, is all about, is about what happens when we pull together. So thank you again for all, for all that you do, all that you've done um, for this incredible facility. Uh, and now I'd like to uh, turn it over to uh, Senator Kelly to say a few words.